In a minute. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. All right, boys and girls, so we'll, we'll show you a couple of little ways that I do my things. Anyway, uh, some people like to use uh, Dynaglass. And I'm here to tell you, Dynaglass just <clears throat> basically sits on fiberglass. So this here is metal to metal. And it's designed to go over bare metal. And you don't have to mess with epoxy underneath it. Uh, number two, I just realized it myself. You do not use the same putty knife that you just mixed your bonder with because there's always an edge somewhere that doesn't have a mixed uh, chunk of bondo. You know what I mean? Like there's a little bit of uh, gray matter there. Okay, so what we want to do is mix up a coat here. And uh, we don't want anything that's marbleized at all. So. You don't want to grab, and I've done it many times, I'm sure everybody else has, you're mixing and then applying with the same knife. You shouldn't be doing that simply because it doesn't take much uh, of a gray area not to be catalyzed properly. So the next thing you know, you have issues. All right, so this is one coat of Metalux over my weld. This is where my weld was. This is a brand new panel that I made and uh, welded into this. So now I'm showing you something that everybody knows how to do, except there's always somebody that doesn't. So this is the do it once, do it twice. We gotta make sure when we're starting our stroke, that everything's in here, okay? And now we're going to give it a good pull. And this becomes, you plugger, got a little crouton in there somewhere. We've got the crouton out. So this becomes, uh, i got to get that out of there. Otherwise, it'll haunt you. Yeah. Little chunk. Yeah, the other thing is, well, this is my first stroke of the morning, so I'm not really all that dialed in yet. So, we'll do this, and then we'll clean up the board properly. So this was, if you didn't catch the memo, a window van, and I molded in the windows and the body line here. And that's all it needs is one millimeter of putt. That was one coat. This here, no exaggeration, was already one coat. And then another coat of, of Bondo. And, uh, this stuff here is almost the top of the food chain with uh, Evercoat. It's called Ultra Rage. And in Canada, it is $100 a gallon, my cost. So even though. I'm in my backyard, I get garage price because I've been at it for 50 some years. Technically 50 years this year. Oh no, 51 now, since I started. All right, so this is all we need. That, most of that will be knocked off. That's just a blend in area. All right, so we're good there. I don't like this. I took too much off, so we're going to try and go back in there and put a little more on and leave it on there. And of course, I'm going to mess it up. All right. So now, the reason that I work with this stuff is I'll show you because this young guy doesn't know what to look for. Here, let me show him. All right, I like working with this stuff because you see, 
there's a coat of putt on here and a touch up and I haven't knocked it off all yet but there is no such thing as pinholes that is the enemy pinholes little air bubbles there is nothing there alrighty that's why I use this stuff so there you go now I'm here to tell you I'm gonna knock this off probably in one hour and we'll bring you back with that because you were using my phone which should be okay and I'll show you what I do by knocking it off alrighty bye bye